Yesterday I uploaded a video to YouTube after I discovered that um, JCAR, who have been selling this kit that I make for many years, have replaced it with this. And the response was ridiculous. Uh, I, would, I, I just did it as a little personal thing because I was feeling sad about this situation. And um, so I uploaded it to YouTube. I even disabled notifications so that my YouTube subscribers wouldn't be notified of it and then posted it on Facebook. What I thought would happen is that maybe a couple of dozen of my friends would see it. I get a few people saying, oh, that really sucks. And that would be the end of it. But the response has been insane. Um, it just snowballed. It got tweeted and retweeted and shared. And then the comments just started getting out of control and um, comments on YouTube as well. And um, I was just astounded. So I was sitting there with my computer and notifications kept coming up and I would respond to all the Facebook comments and then go to YouTube comments and then go to tweets and respond to those. And then by the time I'd done that, I had to go all the way back to Facebook again. And this just went on for hours. So to all of you that have got an interest in this, um, well, thank you. Uh, but it wasn't really expected and I wasn't expecting anything to come out of it. Um, the other thing is, uh, yeah, so I, I had a chat open with um, a friend and I was saying to him that I just can't believe that people are so interested in this. And um, he said to me, uh, I don't think you realise the impact that you've had on the local electronics industry, which uh, just amazed me. So I've had a lot of people say, boo-hoo, you released something under an open source license and now someone else has made one. Get over it. Yeah, well, <laughs> there is some element to that. Um, but the thing is that it shows a fundamental misunderstanding of what open source means and how it works. So when I release something as an open source design, and obviously Arduino itself is released open source, so I've derived work from other people as well. It doesn't mean that you can just take someone else's work, scrub their name off it, put your own on and say, hey, this is mine. So take their work, scrub the name off, it's mine. It's really frustrating to see that sort of thing. It's not just that a design or someone, some work was taken, it's that it's the manner in which it was done. So this is a big Australian company that's been buying from a little Australian supplier. I mean, this is me, hang on, let me zoom out. If you've seen my super house videos, then you've probably seen bits of my workshop. This is where I work, uh, where, um, where the guide for this was written. We're sitting at the computer right there. And I've been supplying JCAR for years and then they just take it put it in a copying machine, put their own name on it and say, bye bye. And that's the end of it. And even if what they have done is technically legal, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they're in breach of the CC BY SA clause on the documentation at the very least, before we look at anything else. But even assuming they hadn't um, breached any licenses or anything else, it's just a shitty practice for a big company to do that to a little Australian supplier. I've been working so hard for many years to bring the, uh, the local electronics hobby scene back to the sort of level of vibrancy it had back when Dick Smith used to produce the Funway uh, kits and it was just such a fun thing to do. As a kid you could grab a kit and read Funway into electronics and put something together and get a kick out of it and that was a real entry point into the electronics industry. Unfortunately those are no longer available. Um, but I've been doing my best with things like the books that I write, the guides, uh, the products that I produce to make that sort of thing accessible once again to hobbyists. And um, it just doesn't feel very good to be taken advantage of like this. So to everybody that has um, sent messages of support, thank you. And um, I still don't really expect this to go anywhere. This all just came out of me feeling sad about the situation and um, uh, I don't know what will happen now, but anyway, thank you.